Hey, Shalom. Hey, um, all praise is going on. Goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Kakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace is best to the hopeful elect. Uh, <laughs> um, this will be another edition of the Mark of the Beast, it's Priest of Zion. Once again, um, for today's lesson, uh, I just uh, just got this article from my brother in the camp. Um, I told him I was going to go in on this uh, particular article. Um, today's date is uh, January uh, 17th, 2019, the year of Karagma. And this is what I actually have an article dealing with, okay? Um, Karagma or... Um, the mark of the beast, because when you go into the uh, the Greek in Revelation 13 and 16, when you read the word mark in the scripture, the word there in the Greek is karagma, which means um, uh, something engraved or sculpted or, or cut into, which it will be cut into uh, a person's hand when you receive that mark. All right. Now, this is an article from uh, KARK.com. All right, kart.com. Uh, and the headline is 2019 session. Bill would regulate microchipping employees in Arkansas. Okay. Once again, this 2019 session. Bill would regulate microchipping employees in Arkansas. So, so called white man Esau is once again um, uh, pushing this microchip technology upon the people. All right, and he's doing it locally. You know, you got these different news um, stations, and in in particular here in Arkansas, and they're pushing microchipping in Arkansas. So, what does that mean for the rest of the country, especially amid this uh, this government shutdown situation, where um, people are not getting paid? They don't know where they're gonna get their money from. You got these, you know, this whole trade. War between the U.S. and China, other countries dropping the dollar. Um, you know, this would definitely be the perfect opportunity um, um, to introduce a new currency or form of currency or way to buy and sell pursuant to a, a global economic crash, which is prophesied in the scriptures, by the way. Okay? Um, uh, so, uh, you know, this is a, uh, I believe, matter of fact, this is a video. Um, so let me go ahead and play this real quick if I can. Or it may just be, well, it says video here. Uh, but it's not letting me play it. But, uh, uh, matter of fact, here it goes right here. I was going to say, as usual, I'll leave a link, but I'm going to go ahead and play it. All right. Let's see if it comes up, though. If not as usual, I'll leave a link in the description after I post the video. Um, but I but I do want to play this if it comes up and and it doesn't look like it's coming up. Uh, so let me go ahead and get into the article. It says Little Rock, Arkansas, which we actually have a a, a great millstone camp with um, brothers out there, beautiful Arkham uh, that have been laboring for a number of years out there in Arkansas, pushing the word. Okay, um, so it says here with a simple swipe of their arm, <laughs> and then I didn't put hand, all right, which you know, hey, man, well, matter of fact, your hand is attached. I'm gonna give you a quick lesson, real quick. Your hand is attached to your arm, right? Now, when you go into the Hebrew, the Hebrew character for a uh, Yah, which goes back to the uh, word Yad, okay. It's an actual arm from the elbow with the hand, which represents power. All right. So when you say might or power, um, and you say yod, that's what that word means. Yod. It's an arm, and it uh, it looks like a a arm. So it's like you get it. Like it looks like an arm with the hand, and that's your yod. Okay. You know because your hand is your um. You know, use your hand to grab things and, you know, use things and represent power. Well, they're going to use this microchip to be implanted in your in your right hand 
uh, especially over here in America, Babylon the Great, and that's going to power the chip, the microchip. Okay, and that's um, uh, and there's science behind that. Okay, so it says with the simple swipe of the arm, uh, thousands of employees across the world can open doors, log into their computers, and even buy snacks from vending machines. Now, even when you go into these articles and vending machines, especially the videos. Not really too much do you see them actually get a microchip implant in their arm now. Now you see it that they're actually getting the implant within their hands. Okay? And that's prophecy. Okay? Because you use your hands to do a lot of things. Alright? Uh, it says select companies from Wisconsin to Sweden microchip their workers. So the technology is already out. Alright? And it is the mark of the beast, but what's going to fulfill this prophecy, matter of fact, let me go ahead and get it, which we all know it, but, you know, you can't beat these scriptures into Israelite's head enough. Alright, so this is uh, Revelation 13, um, 13 and 16. And he causeth all that he is uh, the beast, Esau, the so-called white man. Alright, he is so-called white man is going to push this chip. It says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Now, that word mark in the Greek is karagma, all right, which 2019 is a year of karagma. So, you know, we're you know, still in January, and they're already pushing that uh, vibration out in the world, all right? It says, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right, because you're going to have a brain, a microchip brain implant as well, which is led by Elon Musk. With his uh, Neuralink project. Alright. Look that up. Neuralink. It says. Verse 17. In that no man might buy or sell. And they're already using a microchip implant. To buy and sell. Alright. Whether it be Wisconsin or Sweden. Or, or any other country in Europe or America. Or around the world. In Europe or America or around the world. People are using this microchip implant. To buy things and sell things. Alright. Mainly to buy things. People, you know, people are, are using it. All right, for purchasing, basically. Okay? Uh, it says, uh, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So, except you have this mark, that's, that's basically going to be the only way that you can, after things start getting bad, now things are already getting bad here in America, especially around the world, Paris, London, Africa, South America, Middle East, all right, protests everywhere, riots everywhere, okay, civil unrest everywhere, you know, so when, you know, shit, uh, global economic um, issues and trouble, so the next thing for the world to do is to introduce a microchip to basically link everybody to a new system that's going to basically uh, come, come with the means of we're going to save everybody, okay. So, um, uh, the only way for you to be linked to this new system is except you have this, uh, this mark or this microchip, okay? And that's how they at least want this new order to work. So, it says in verse 16 again, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So, except you have that mark. That's how you're going to be able to buy and sell, it, among other things, to be able to maneuver and move in the society. Okay? It says, or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which goes back to being a part of this uh, new world order system. Okay? So this is, you know, the, um, the, um, you know, the sentiment behind the push of this microchip. Okay? Um, so I'm going to go back to the article and finish it off. All right, uh, so back here in the article, it says, uh, all right, it says, Marie here, Little Rock, Arkansas, with the simple swipe of their arm, thousands of employees, uh, or hand, okay, thousands of employees are, uh, across the world can open doors, log into the, to their computers, even buy snacks from vending machines. Select companies from Wisconsin to Sweden microchip their workers. Senator Rep. Um, Stephen Meeks 
a state rep, uh, Stephen Meeks, is uh, working to get ahead of the technology, to get ahead of the technology in Arkansas. Already get up on it. Already start using it, pushing it. Okay? All right, and this is a quote. The idea here is to set the ground rules before the technology comes to our state to protect workers, he said. So this is a way for them to push the chip, push it upon the people that's working. Now, what's going on in America right now? Government shut down. So we could very well see that, well, when these people start getting back to work and getting paid, oh, well, you got to get the microchip now. That's what's going to be the new solution to, these, to, to the immigrant problem and the working problem and employee problem in America. All right? Uh, it says House Bill 1177 would allow companies to offer microchips to employees but not force them to use the implants. The, co the companies will also have to disclose how they plan to use the data or data. Okay, well... Eventually, the microchip will be forced, and that's I just read it in Revelation 13 chapters. It's biblical prophecy. All right. Uh, it says the legislation also requires the company to pay to remove the implant if the implant if an employee leaves. Uh, which, at particular at that point, then you know the heavenly Father is going to have you know these people's spirits out here sealed, their minds and their hearts sealed with this microchip implant. It's going to be the new thing. And pursuing the revelation of 14 chapter is going to destroy and kill them. Okay? It says, uh, the employee could decide to keep the microchip, but then bears full responsibility for it. You are going to bear full respons responsibility, uh, according to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh Shai, if you get this microchip. Alright? If you receive this microchip, you will be destroyed. Killed in, in in these coming uh, uh, trouble troublesome times these last days, mainly via the thermonuclear missiles that's going to destroy America, A.K.A. Babylon the Great. And we've been preaching that here at Great Millstone, and pushing that that truth out, that prophecy out there for uh, years. Okay, I myself going on um about a decade. Okay, so that's that that spirit, all right, of uh, judgment that, that's going to come on this place is already out there. All right, Pastor, I've been pushing this for for three, almost four decades, man. Themselves, okay. So this is imperative that you understand that this microchip is the mark of the beast. All right. Uh, it says when asked if he would ever get a microchip, uh, uh, Meeks responded, "Probably not, but who knows." All right. But guess what? Like I said. And I read it in the scripture, my, the microchip implant will be forced. All right? And like brothers always say, fear the microchip. Okay? Because the Lord will destroy you. Uh, so don't take it. Now with that, I'm going to give all praise to going on to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Wadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Israelites that rule well. All right? Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This has been the mark of the beast. And... Until uh, the next video, Lord willing, all right, shalom, and don't take the microchip.